basis is the amount of money the owner has invested in an asset. Profit is what he makes when he sells the asset. Capital gains tax is the percentage the federal and state governments take from the profit. Property that was owned outright by a taxpayer who passes it on as a bequest, devise, or inheritance gets a step up in basis upon the owner's death. Surviving family members won't have to pay a capital gains tax if they sell the property for what it was worth on the day of the owner's death because the basis is stepped up. People can own property in other ways and still have the basis value of the property stepped up upon death. Property owned in a revocable trust gets stepped up basis because the creator of the trust keeps a power to revoke the trust or power to alter, amend, or terminate the trust during his lifetime. It's known as a living trust. A living trust can be used to avoid probate and protect the interests of surviving children and family members. Basis is stepped up on death if the property was transferred to someone else during the owner's lifetime and the owner retained a life estate that gave him the possession or enjoyment of or the right to the income from the property during his lifetime. Property that passes by exercise of a general power of appointment gets a stepped up basis. With a general power of appointment, you give another person the power to select who gets a property interest. Property can get a step up in basis if it passes into a Q-tip trust that was established by one spouse to provide resources for a surviving spouse during her lifetime. Is death the only way I can plan for capital gains taxes? No, there are strategies taxpayers can use to reduce capital gains during their lifetime.